Today I'm going to be talking about battery packs for the electric eel wheel 5. This is a very common question and the reason is because the electric eel wheel is so small and portable people want to unplug it from the wall and really take it anywhere. The limiting factor there is power and what I'm going to cover in this episode are four different battery packs that I ordered from Amazon that will work with the electric eel wheel 5 and I'll also then go into some details on, on the information you need to actually go and pick up other battery packs if none of these four uh, fit your needs. So let's get started. So first off we've got this one which is actually just a battery pack that holds AA batteries. So it holds eight AA batteries. Uh, the um, actual battery pack here um, was really cheaply made and it was kind of disappointed me because I couldn't get good connections uh, for the positive terminal on all eight batteries without bending some things. So I have a little problem recommending this one. I really like the idea though because you can just take extra AA batteries with you and extend the, the run time. It's also the cheapest option at about $20 for both this battery pack and the uh, AA batteries. So I really like that. But um, yeah, it's hard to recommend because it didn't work. Oh, and the uh, runtime for this one was about 3.8 hours. So, you know, that's pretty good runtime, but it is the shortest runtime of any of the battery packs I reviewed. Another option is this XT Power. And this one's nice because it's got USB ports, so you can use it to charge your phone. Uh, it's got a, um, a little selector here to go between 9 and 12 volts. You want to make sure it's on... 12 volts when you're actually using it with the electric eel wheel. Uh, this is a really professional and not terribly expensive solution. Uh, it comes with lots of different connectors. Um, the nice thing is you don't need to use any of these with the electric eel wheel. The, the default ones... Um, where'd that cord go? <laughs> ah, this default cord that you plug into it is the one that works with the electric eel wheel. So you just use this cord. You don't have to worry about those plugs. But if you have something else you want to run off of this guy, you, you've got a lot of different plugs that come with it. Uh, so this one uh, has a runtime of about 4.5 hours, which is, you know, pretty decent, but uh, not terribly long. Uh, I guess one of the disadvantages is that it's $60, so it's a, a little pricey. But it's a, a really solid option. It, it works really well. Uh, next up is this uh, talent cell option. So uh, this is really a very raw battery pack. Um, it just it doesn't have any USB connectors. So all you can really use this for is the electric eel wheel or anything else that takes a, a plug like this. But um, you just turn it on, you plug it in and you're good to go. The really nice thing about this guy is it has uh, a 10.8 hour runtime in my testing so it really lasts for a long time and it was only $30 so this is definitely the best value uh, of the options that I'm, I'm reviewing here today. And then I went with a Cadillac option basically. So this has got, you know, more plugs than you know what to do with and it's got this, you know, pretty high current charging uh, station. So this is the Max Oak uh, K2 battery pack and, and this is really the, the Cadillac. It's also got the USB connectors. It's got a 12 volt and a 20 volt output. You want to use the 12 volt when you're using it with the electric gear wheel. Uh, and it's got a huge capacity. So in my testing, this, this ran the electric eel wheel for over 31 hours. Uh, it's also got this nice little case that you can keep it in. So you can really take this guy with you all weekend uh, and probably have no problems unless you're, you're spending an awful lot because, yeah, 30, 31 hours. I mean, you can, this guy's huge, so you can use him to charge laptops and everything. So. I wouldn't get this probably just for the electric eel wheel. It might be a little bit of an overkill unless you really want to go on that camping weekend. 
um, or even a camping week with the electric eel wheel and, and not have to worry about uh, battery power. Uh, it, the, the you know, only downside is the price. Uh, it was $136 from Amazon. So we've got that option, the double A's, um, the talent cell, and the X power options. And I've got this nifty cheat sheet right here that talks about the different options. So, um, yeah, you've got the prices there, you've got the runtime in minutes, and then I, I put a, a the minutes per dollar. So you can see the, the best value was that um, talent cell uh, battery pack. Uh, XT power was the um, most expensive per minute of runtime. So we're down in the laboratory and I want to talk about picking your own battery pack. So the most important thing is to have a battery pack that supports uh, 12 uh, volts output. So this one mentions the 12 volt output. Uh, it also needs to have an output current of at least two amps. So this one's three amps, that's more than two amps, so I would say that you know this, this battery pack is good uh, from a power perspective. And then you also need a 2.1 millimeter uh, power jack. So the inside is a positive voltage, tw positive 12 volts, and the outside of the barrel uh, will be ground. And that's really what you need to know if a Power, those three things are the things you need if a power pack is going to actually function with the electric eel wheel. Um, but to know how long it's actually going to run is a little bit more complicated. So next I'm going to get into the actual voltage and current consumed by the electric eel wheel. So uh, this is the voltage and this is current. Uh, this is measured in volts and this is measured in amps. And uh, basically when I was testing the electric eel wheel, I went to about this speed, which I thought was a pretty good speed for spinning. So you can see that it's consuming 12 volts and that's pretty consistent. Uh, that's the output of the power supply. And then um, the current is this 0.6 uh, amps. And you can actually see that uh, it, it changes and like when I'm you can sort of see it peak so if I actually turn it into uh, measuring the max you can see that it sort of peaks when I'm accelerating and it'll peak even more if I hold things in place and the most extreme case is if I actually just hold the motor in place and you can see that it you know peaks um, really high so that that's five amps peak so a battery supply doesn't need to support that. If, if the battery supply sort of cuts out in that case, it, it's fine. Uh, but if we go back to um, just typical, you know, I mean, typical is sort of what we're targeting. So this point, point 0.6 amps um, and 12 volts. Now, now, what does all of this mean? Um, you know, voltage and current aren't how most people think. So I, I like to use an example of uh, pipes uh, with water flowing through them uh, because that's sort of a more concrete, more understandable uh, conversation for most people. So voltage is like the uh, pressure uh, through uh, of the water in the pipes. If you have a really high pressure in the water pipes, um, you can get more water through them. If you have a high voltage, you can get a lot more power uh, through the system. Um, also, uh, current is kind of like the, the diameter of the pipe. If you want a lot of water going through pipes, you get, you know, really large diameter pipes. Uh, so, uh, in order to get the, you know, the thing that will consume the most power is something that has both high current and high voltage. Uh, so in the case of the uh, electric eel wheel, we're always going to be using about 12 volts. That's what I, I recommend the power supply to be. And, and this is just uh, the typical power supply. They usually go a little over the, the 12 volts. So, you know, a little bit over is fine. Um, but then the amount of uh, current or basically the, the size of the pipe 
um, with electronics is sort of variable and that's going to kind of increase as we turn up the speed. So that's sort of my example of how to think of, you know, voltage is, is like uh, the pressure in your water pipe and current is the diameter of the, the water pipe. And this is probably more information than you need uh, when selecting a, a, a battery pack for the electric eel wheel. And, uh, you know, congratulations if you watched uh, this episode all the way to this point. Uh, hopefully it, it made some sense, but it, it's kind of a, annoying to me that everybody uh, talks about uh, the milliamp hours of a battery supply. I mean, what they're, they're, they're most people are, are sizing it for um, typical voltage of a single cell um, lithium ion battery, but uh, this, this talent cell people, they certainly didn't do that. Um, it's actually bad for their marketing that they, they didn't do that, but you, you never know who's going to be, you know, what voltage they're, they're using. They should be using um, watt hours. I, I would, that would make it, things more clear to me. But anyways, um, enough information uh, for today. Hopefully uh, you learned something and, uh, you know, most likely select one of those four battery packs that I mentioned at the beginning. But if you want to select your own, uh, this information at the end will hopefully uh, help you select the right size battery pack for your needs. Thanks for watching.